Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Monday.com. Managing a team, can be a difficult task. This is why Batman works alone. Introducing Monday.com. The Monday.com platform is a team management tool, that helps transform the way teams work together. It is a simple, but intuitive tool, that enables people to manage work, meet deadlines and build a culture of transparency. With a single glance, you can see your progress, and what steps need to be taken, to keep moving forward. This is a great way, to get a clear overview, of all your projects, and have your entire team aware of what's ahead. Monday.com is a centralized platform, for teams to manage every detail of their work, from high-level roadmap planning to the specifics of day-to-day -day tasks. Visit the link in the description, and sign up today. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can free download this template from the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Loading Logo. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. With a frame rate of 30. And my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to create a new solid layer. Let's call it the background. I am using a dark blue color for it. You are free to use any color you want. Let's create one more solid layer, and I am calling it the blinds. For this solid layer, I am using a little brighter color, than the background layer. Now select this blind layer, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the Venetian blinds. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the transition completion value to 60%, and then change the direction value to 90 degrees. Also, change the width value to 7, and feather value 2. Now your background has this kind of pattern. Let's move to the next step. Make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to none. And my stroke is set to a solid color. Also, my stroke size is 3 pixels, and I am using white color for it. Now create a rectangle like this. Select the shape layer, and let's rename it. I am calling it stroke. If you notice, the anchor point of this stroke layer is not into the center, but we need to place it to the center. So press Y, to grab the anchor tool. Meanwhile, press and hold the control key on your keyboard. And drag this anchor point to the center. It will attach to the center. Cool. Now select this layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it fill. Let's add a fill to this shape layer. If you are not able to find shape tools preferences, then make sure to select the move tool. And it will be visible. Now, change the stroke to none. And then change the fill to a solid color. For the solid, I am using this brighter green color. You are free to use any color you want. Now I am not able to see the stroke, because it is covering the stroke layer. Let's scale down this fill. Open scale. Click on the scale value, and use the down arrow key, to make it smaller. Cool. Because it is a rectangle. So the width is looking fine, 
but the height is not affected very well. Let's fix it. Click on this constrain proportions, or the link icon, to turn it off. Now you will be able to change the height, and width value individually. Click on the Y value, and again use the down arrow key to change the value. Keep changing until it looks into the center. Perfect. Now select the fill layer once again, press Y, to grab the anchor tool. Again press and hold the control key on your keyboard, and then align this anchor point, to the left side of the fill. Cool. It's time for the animation. Make sure you are at the first frame. And then add a keyframe on scale. Now change the first scale value to zero. Go to around one second position, and change the first scale value to 20. Then go to around 15 frames forward. And click here to add a keyframe manually. This keyframe contains the same value, as the previous keyframe, so there will be no motion. You will better understand this in the next step. Again go to around 1 second forward, and change the first scale value to 50. Let's go to the 1 second forward, and again add a keyframe from here manually. Here you will see, we have animation between these keyframes, but these next two keyframes hold the same value, so there is no animation. Cool. Let's quickly add more keyframes to this. By following this step, I can make the progress bar to stay a few seconds, and then move to the progress. For the last keyframe, I am using the same scale value, which we had in the beginning. Cool, select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ramp preview this, and this is how it looks now. In case you want to make it faster, simply bring these keyframes closer to each other. Let's move to the next step. Go to the tool, and select the text tool. Click here, and start typing your text. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. I am using the same green color for it. And my font size is 41. Align your text to the center, and now we can move to the next step. Go to the second keyframe position, you can press and hold the shift key to go to the exact position. In case these keyframes are not visible, press U to open them. Now go to the second keyframe position, select the text layer, and press Ctrl plus Shift D, to split it. Go to a few frames forward, then double click on this top layer, and add your another text. I am calling it connecting server. Cool. Now go to the fourth second position, and again select this top layer. Again press Ctrl plus Shift D, to split it. Go to a few frames forward, and this time change the text to locating database. Let's quickly add more text, you are free to use any text or word you want. These words sounds high tech, that's why I am using them. At the end, make sure to add done and starting. Ramp preview this, and this is how it looks now. Cool. This looks good to me. Now it's time to add our logo. Go to around 6 second position. And here I am going to place my logo. But first, we need to trim out the text, as well as shape layers, so that they will disappear, at the time my logo appear. Select this top layer. As well as these shape layers. And then again press Ctrl plus Shift D, to split these layers. Now press the delete key, to delete them. And they will no longer be visible after this point. Let's import these files into the project. By the way, you can download them from the link in the description. Import them into the project. Then go to the project window, grab your logo, and place it on top of all layers. Let's place it at the position where you want to appear your logo. In my case, right after this text layer. You can always zoom in, to find the exact point. This is the simplest way to show your logo, let's make it a little interesting. Place this glitch layer into the timeline. Make sure it is on top. Let's zoom out. 
and now drag it in between the text and the logo layer. We will use this clip as the transition. I'm placing it right here. But it won't work until we change the mode of it. If your mode tab isn't available here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key wasn't able to survive the zombie bite in the last episode of Walking Dead, then right click here, go to the column, and select modes, as well as select the switches. Because we are going to need it. Now change the blending mode to color dodge. And it will look good now. Let's pre-compose our logo. Right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp. And select move all attributes into the new composition. Also, I am going to scale down the size of it. Let's keep this size. Our animation part is complete, let's move to the next step. Go to the layer, and create a new adjustment layer. Make sure to place it on top, and I'm calling it noise. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the bad TV too old. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects, you don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First make sure to unselect all these effects. And then select this wave wrap, and delete it. Everything else will remain same. It will create this digital looking noise onto it. It's time for the camera animation. Because camera only works with the 3D layers. So let's select all layers, and click here to make them 3D. Again go to the layer and create a new camera. I am going with a 35mm preset. And then hit OK. Let's go to the point where the logo is visible, then press P, to open position. And add a keyframe on it. Let's minimize, and then open it once again, and add a keyframe on point of interest as well. Let's minimize the transform, and expand the camera option. Here turn on the depth of field. We will use it later. Go to the first frame, and press C, to select the camera tool. Keep pressing, until you get the track Z camera tool. Click and drag it to the top to zoom in. Then select the orbit camera tool, by pressing the C again, and rotate it like this. Make sure these cuts don't appear, in case they appear. Simply select the track Z camera tool, by pressing C. And zoom in. Cool. This is how the frame looks now. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Let's go to the first frame, then open camera option once again. And here you will find this aperture option. Change its value to around 200 pixels. And now change the focus distance value to a lower number so that it will focus on the text. Now I am going to add keyframes on the focus distance, so that my entire scene will remain in focus. Again make sure you are at the first frame, and then add a keyframe on it. Now press U, to open keyframes, go to the end keyframe position, and change the focus distance value, so that my logo looks sharp, and focused. You can always zoom in, to see the frame closely. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty-free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.